Hey, what is going on the YouTube? This is Robert and today I'm bringing to the full drop list for this week, which is week 13 of the full winter season. Now, uh, I was going to upload sooner, uh, more so being yesterday uh, for an unboxing, but unfortunately my package uh, with UPS now, it seems that obviously different location, different timings, uh, is more like 4 or 5 p.m. Uh, delivery. So, yeah, with that, I'm not exactly going to be recording uh, an unboxing at that point in time uh, just because of the brightness and everything so uh, my unboxing for a couple of things should be out on Friday uh, instead but regardless let's get into this week because there are actually a couple of nice pieces and a couple of different sort of unique things dropping so yeah let's get into it okay so obviously the top of the list is a little bit different to what I was expecting uh, with the items that are dropping this week but regardless it's fine uh, as you can see, there are a couple of different pieces uh, sitting at the top this time. Uh, so we've got an S logo keychain that I am not even going to try a pronunciation, but we've got an S logo keychain uh, regardless dropping uh, this week in a different couple of colorways. I don't know how this is top, but it's top is what it is. Uh, from there, we move on to the Mohawk uh, Straithmore paper. So it's just sheets of paper, or like sheets of Supreme paper in the end. So. Yeah, I can actually see that selling out if it's got a retail of like under £25, just because paper sheets in general, you'll go through them. Yeah, that's literally going to be probably people buying that custom logo watermark. <laughs> but moving on from that, we have the piece that I'm actually rushing to and interested in, which is going to be the Sun Damage uh, book by Harmony uh, Corine, or Corine, however you want to pronounce uh, their name in the end. So this is going to be, I believe, the third book. That we'll be getting third or fourth book that we'll be getting uh from supreme uh in the end normally the retail is about like 36 to like 48 pounds uh in the end for books from supreme obviously in the past we had better ones uh, i would call them and the only aspect i would say was better uh, in regards to them is just the fact that you received a lot of freebies along the side especially if you went in store to get them so i don't know if they're going to do the same sort of thing with this or whether it is going to be separate and it will just be quite plain and simple as to what is released or what is alongside it uh, but yeah hopefully the retail is about that sort of price range as the last one because that'd be a nice easy pickup uh, because i didn't go for the prior ones in the end uh, and that's just on me for not picking them up you know uh, i should have just gone for them straight from the drop because the items that came with them like the stickers and things and the other aspects would have just been cool to have but you know it's on me at the end of the day for not doing that so yeah that is dropping this week we then get into one of the pieces that i'm also excited for which i hope they put on like a christmas tea in the end or i hope it becomes a christmas tea which is going to be the snowman hoodie I love this piece, I really do. It's on a beanie as well, and I think it is just great, especially in this royal colourway. The other colourways are great as well, especially the grey and the pink. But yeah, I just think this royal colourway with the Supreme on the front like that, you know, on the back, massive font and everything, just a big graphic. It's a great piece, I really do think it is. And yeah, if it does end up on a tee for winter, that'd be great, uh, in my view. I think it'd be cool, but... I don't know, it probably won't do in the end, it's just me always just hoping for something that will never come to be. So, yeah, we've then got a wool camp cap, quite plain and simple, a lot of variety of colourways, but that's standard nowadays, they're starting to expand, like, their range of colourways, uh, but yeah, it's okay. We've then got the micro uh, down half zip pullover, or hooded pullover, you've got that cheetah looking colour, or I would say leopard colour, but it's not going to compare to uh, some other leopard pieces that Supreme have released. Uh, personally for me, the black colorway and the teal colorway are the two stand out from this. The orange is just too vibrant. The pink's a bit too not pink. Do you know what I mean when I say that? I hope that makes sense. But yeah, uh, I definitely think the black colorway and teal are the two stand out from that. We then have a small box face mask zip up hoodie. Pieces like this in the past, funnily enough, like face mask related pieces for some reason have sold out. I don't personally see this one selling out, but it's a difficult one to gauge because for some reason they just do. So, yeah. We then get on to the collaboration for this week, which is the Missoni or Missoni, however you want to pronounce it in the end, uh, hoodie or collaboration, but we're kicking things off with the hoodie. I didn't expect this to be that low down on the list this week, to be perfectly honest. I thought it would be a lot higher because of some of the pieces that are inside of it or included in it. Now, personal preference. 
Brown colorway or rust isn't for me. White and black, completely fine. You know, there's nothing wrong with them. Uh, the white colorway and the black colorway, I think, are the better two, though, out of it. Uh, I think the white colorway is the best overall because uh, the lack of color is meant to, like, make you fill in for it. Uh, by just using the black that's there, whereas the white's just completely doing that job by itself with every single colour. So, yeah, white colourway gets my vote in the end. Next, we've got the Gore-Tex Core Droid Classic Logo 6 panel. Quite a lot going on with this one. Uh, with it just being a 6 panel, it's going to have its standard retail. With it being Core Droid, I think that bumps it up by only a small fraction. With it being Gore-Tex, I expect it to be like £54 or £56 pounds in the end retail. Uh, I don't expect it to be that 46 that they sometimes sit at, or 44, 48. I think it would be the higher, just because of all the aspects it's got going on. Black colorway is okay, navy's nice. I'm not really a fan of the rest, except for the green, because I always have a soft spot for that. But yeah, I'd probably say black and navy in this. The white with the red stands out quite cleanly, but those are the main two, black and navy. We've then got the hooded MA1, which I actually saw a lot of people say they're finally glad it's dropping, because they've been waiting for it to drop. These pieces always seem to be like a fan favourite in the end because of the quality, like the warmth and just the overall look of them and yeah I mean there's nothing wrong with it, I definitely say that the olive colourway for me might be just slightly ahead of the purple. I think that the black's a bit too plain and simple with this and the purple and olive are just a bit more interesting. Actually with that I might actually say the olive is behind the purple. But yeah, we now move on to the piece that I thought would be way higher up on the list, which is going to be the sweater, purely because the central colorway gives you such like biggie vibes or feeling or like the idea that he'd be wearing it. I know he, he wouldn't obviously, but you know what I mean. So I thought that this piece is like the highlight of the collab, like definitely the middle colorway. I would have thought that people would have lost their like mind for it. The only issue is, which I will be honest, I do know, retail. The company's retail in general, or retail prices are, um, you know, so are we on a Supreme blank? Are we on one of their blanks? I don't know. Here's the thing, if it's uh, a collaboration of this standard, and you've got supreme prices, probably worth picking up if we've got their prices. Might still be worth picking up, but their prices are a bit high, so yeah. We've then got a zip-off utility pan. Uh, I'm just gonna leave this one be. Denim shorts are just a no-go in my book, just tethered us time out, that's no. We move on to the snowman beanie, which if I do not end up getting the book for whatever reason, maybe retail or whatever, I will be picking up the snowman beanie because this is one of my favourite ones uh, from the season as an overall. Yeah, I think it's just great. Personally, the black colourway doesn't do justice for the piece as an overall. It sort of ruins it. I think that the blue and the brown uh, are more so perfect for it. So yeah, I'd probably end up going for the blue colourway uh, in the end or the royal colourway because it just looks great with that. So yeah. We've then got the reversible knit jacket. Another cool piece, but probably just going to have a high retail. The look for it isn't as great as the sweater. It's Yeah, and it's not too legible either. The reversible looks great, but it's just that it's not too legible on the main aspect to it so there's not much you can do about that we've then got the above all uh, football jersey jerseys tend to have a higher retail colorways are okay except for the central one not really for me though and yeah we move on to the micro down pan it's very plain and simple i'd still just say that black and that teal or that blue colorway are just the best too we have the crusher as well as the long sleeve polo not the best pieces uh, from the collab they're okay, they're not great. I'd say that definitely the one main piece that I've spoken of, more so than the others, is the highlight and is the best piece. And yeah, we finish off with the wrap logo beanie, which obviously wraps around. It's not amazing. So that is going to cover the list for this like week anyway. There are a couple of pieces that I do personally think stand out. Other than the top two, which I think are just a bit more novelty, I would say that the book the snowman, the hoodie-ish, but more so the MA1, the sweater, and the snowman beanie are like my main pieces that I like from the week. And yeah, also the micro 
you know, down half zip is also normally a fan favourite piece. Same as the MA1. It's just one of those pieces that people do like. And for the winter season, they're just great. So yeah, but like I said, that is going to cover this video. Let me know what you're going for. Let me know your thoughts and opinions, what you like, what you dislike. And other than that, there isn't really much to say. So yeah, have your items arrived from last week? Uh, because yeah, I'm trying to catch up on comments uh, and I've got a lot to do. So I'm trying to go through like five videos blitz through them if you hit anything if you did is it arriving you know has it arrived already what are you going to be doing with it you know stocking rocking or reselling but yeah that is pretty much going to cover the video so uh with that all said and done i hope that you have a good day and i will see you all next time being tomorrow for a live cop obviously but yeah uh <laughs> i'll see you all next time peace also i have a massive sinus issue so just thought i'd throw that out there because my voice is it's just gone. It's gone. <laughs>